Hey folks, so I have completed a test scripts for fill feedback and submit feedback test cases. So in this video, we will be building and running detox test scripts in both Android and iOS simulated devices. Also, we will be generating uh, test artifacts like uh, screenshots and uh, test run videos by end of this session. To start with building and uh, running, you need to have a clear understanding of the configurations that are set up in the detox rc.json file. So this detox rc.json file, I would have explained this in a setting up detox section. So you can go through it again. And also we will be just uh, quickly go through the keys and configuration setup here. So uh, we can start with configurations. Uh, you can see both Android and iOS configurations are set up differently and also the type of devices and app we are using. We need to mention here. So we have mentioned simulator for iOS and uh, emulator for Android. And the same year, iPhone 13, I have created an iPhone 13 simulator in my local. So I have given type as iPhone 13. So whichever uh, emulator and simulator you, you have in your local, you can give here. And Android, I have given, named the uh, emulator as test emulator. So I have given test emulator under this AVD name key. So coming to this uh, iOS and Android apps. So this is an important configuration where you need to get a clear understanding of build uh, this build key what it does is uh, it will create a dot app bundle of whatever uh, uh, react native project you have it will create a uh, app bundle so android uses gradle to do this and ios uses xcode build and also uh, this app bundle will be will be placed under the binary path whichever path you have provided uh, uh, this app created app bundle from build command will be placed here and uh, whatever app bundle placed here will be uh, used while running this Test scripts this app bundle will be installed in your uh, emulator and simulator and uh, uh, the test scripts will be ran over that so i hope uh, you got a clear understanding of this uh, you don't need to get confused with what i'm uh, using here you can you can just visit this detox pay, uh, documentation and you can use the same command i also use the same command i have replaced your project with uh, the whatever project name i have given Similarly, you can uh, take this command from Android section. So I have, uh, I have created a React Native project with Avinash basic de detox name. I have given this here. So now uh, we can generate a build for Android. So uh, this build key, detox build keyword I'm using and I'm using configuration. iPhone C is configuration and giving the configuration as Android. So see, it uses the Gradle to uh, run then generate this build. So just you need to be uh, cautious about this command which are you are using. Uh, many people can face issues or uh, uh, can throw error in this command. So double check once with the documentation. You can see the build is successful. Uh, you can see the path here. I have given Android app build outputs apk and you can see the debug apk generated and also similarly for ios it will be in uh, here in the path build products in the under debug iphone simulator it will be uh, generated here in the ios so now i will run my test i am using that uh, keyword test and configuration i'm giving us android So it will uh, bring up a emulator. Uh, you don't need to. It's not mandatory. And it, it will install uh, the app bundle whichever we have provided in, in the path. You can see now uh, it installed Avinash Basic Detox here. So I have given click this and I have written all the steps. So you can see here. It got passed. Now I will quickly run in iOS just to uh, show show you that it the same script works both in iOS and Android without any changes. And also I will add this record co command to get the test artifacts. So detox. test 
I will paste this and I can see I will use the configuration for iOS so now you see in the folder structure there is no artifacts created you can see here it's running in the background so uh, the same test script passed for both iOS and Android and also you can see the artifacts generated here for each test for fill feedback and submit feedback I, I, am, I have got the start and done screenshots and also a video of complete test run.